All right, we are now on our third and last virtual machine deployment tutorial. We are going to deploy now a Windows 10 virtual machine. This will be our second target. As a refresh, we had installed our attacker machine, which is Kali Linux, then our first target that was Metasploitable, uh, that has multiple vulnerabilities on purpose for us to practice here. But this now is a standard and stable Windows 10 machine. So to download it, just use the link provided here and you go through it. Okay, so that's the URL we had provided. So here we have a couple options. So select a, a, a download. So this is for virtual machines, okay? So what virtual machine you want? So in our case, we're going to have the, um, the Windows 10 with uh, Microsoft Edge and on a virtual box. So we see they have multiple options here for different uh, environments like VMware, uh, Hyper-V, etc. But uh, in our case, we're going to use VirtualBox, okay? So we just have to click on download the zip file. It's going, it's going to be uh, downloaded the zip file. Just click OK. And because it's going to take a while, so we are uh, just going to uh, short the video a little bit and you see uh, very soon when it's completed. So as you see now, it's completed. You just uh, click on it or double click and it is going to start, you know, extracting the files, right? Expanding the the, the zip files. In my case on Mac, if you are um, on, a, on a PC, it, it's a similar process, okay? Completed, you will find this uh, OVF file and uh, you're gonna have to use that on your VirtualBox to, to upload it. Uh, just highlight, if you try just to add that on, on VirtualBox, I want to show you that that's not gonna work, okay? Um, so if you click add and you navigate through your files, you see that you're going to be grayed out and you won't be, you won't be able to uh, to use it uh, just, just to add in that. So the right way to do that, so I'm going to hit uh, cancel here, is uh, to really import. So when you import, uh, now you will be able to browse to your file that you just downloaded. I might give them the uh, download files and then Microsoft Edge and then the OVF file that I mentioned. You open it up and it will start the... Uh, uh, the, the import process. So one thing before you continue the uh, uh, the import process is that it comes with four gig of RAM, and I wanted to change that to uh, two gig. So this is as you can see now is the appliance settings. Um, so just double click, and then you just uh, type in two zero four eight, because that'll be enough for our exercise. I don't want you to consume too much of your um, of your system. Okay. So you just change that, and then click import. Again, it's going to take uh, a while again, and uh, we're going to short this process here. So now you can see that we have uh, completed the, the import process. And uh, the only thing you're going to have to do now is just uh, to run it. And to run it, you can just uh, double click or you click on this uh, little icon there and, and click it run. So when you double click, you see that it changed now for starting. And it, it's, you know, as before, you can see now the the Windows 10 uh, is starting to work. I'm going to maximize here a little bit so we can we can see better on the screen. And this is our Windows, so it's uh, you just need maybe some configurations after that uh, if you want uh, to make it to, ma to maximize the screen. But uh, important thing to note now is that uh, you have to use a particular password, and the password, the standard password that comes in season is is the one that you can see highlighted on the screen. Okay, you use that to to log in for the first time. Uh, but once you you log in, you are pretty much done. So this is our window box already working. Um, you can, uh, if you want, you can just uh, uh, try to uh, browse a little bit in a couple um, different ways here, just to make sure it's working properly. So you can click on the Windows logo uh, to see if opening up all the applications. Yeah, it's, it seems uh, working properly. You can open the browser, like Microsoft Internet Explorer, or Edge in this case, and, and you can see if you are uh, being able to navigate on the internet. On uh, my case, I am. So that's it. So it's pretty much it. So congratulations. We now have all of our uh, virtual machines deployed, and are good to start now. See you soon.